Hi everyone, it's me Rhonda, and I just wanted to show you um, a couple of items that I use for doll props for photos. And actually it's functional too, because the dolls can actually sit there, and um, they look cute sitting there instead of just on the shelf um, in, in the spare room. So here is um, this little couch, or I would say love seat, because <laughs> it sits two dolls. Um, a love seat that I made with my favorite boxes in the whole world to work with, and that's uh, the USPS post office boxes. And it's just two uh, flat rate boxes. Um, I think they're just the medium size and the rectangular size, and I just put them together, cut one um, to fit the bottom part of the doll where she would sit, and then the other. Um, to go along the height of the doll. And then I just made um, the side pieces. I have a detailed explanation of it on my blog under doll furniture. But when um, I set the dolls on this little uh, love seat, it, my mother noticed that she was looking at the blog. She said that it looked like the, the love seat was just sitting on the floor and it looked strange. So she said I needed to add it some feet. So what I did, it's very silly, but I just took regular um, party cups, those little uh, eight ounce party cups that you get, and I cut them all the same size or height, and I just hot glue them to the bottom. So it, it raises it up just a little bit, and um, I didn't have any other than red, so I may end up having to paint them just so that they don't look so bright. And um, anyway, it's it has a towel. I I just upholstered it a towel, hand towel underneath, so it's not real plush like my beds, but it is um, soft enough so that you don't see the the rigidness of the box. And then these were just um, extra pieces of cardboard that w I had from another box, and I just folded them in half and covered them oh, with the fabric. This is leftover fabric. My mother actually made a slip cover for one of her um, furniture pieces in her living room and she just gave me the leftover fabric and I thought it was perfect. It's um, th The scale of it is a little large but I just love the colors and um, it, I just think it turned out really cute. And then uh, one little tip that I use for little area rugs are placemats. So um, this is just a, a basic um, green placemat. It has a little bit of detail in the center and it, it looks cute. And then this one I thought would look cute for Kirsten because her colors are blue. And it's just a little little placemat. And then this one for fall um, could be a doormat in front. Um, you could certainly stencil welcome on any of these. Uh, you could cut them in half and use them uh, in front of your sinks or your for your bathrooms like in front of your showers but anyway I, they're perfect size they're just these little cotton um, some of them are woven some of them are not this one's a little more satin and it's smoother on this side but I prefer the texture side and it just it looks really cute they're just it's just perfect size for for an area rug so anyway those are my tips and um, if you have any questions about the couch and assembling it, you can um, message me or comment below. And also, please refer to my doll blog under furniture because um, there are pictures step by step on how to assemble the love seat. And you could do a couch, I'm, I'm sorry, a chair as well. You would just probably take off, oh, about three inches and make a, a chair that's perfect for a doll, um, one doll to sit in. So anyway, that's it, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.